Right then, what is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to the Golf Planet channel and welcome back to another equipment review video. Now today you join me at the Swing Suite at Chrome Hearth Golf Club and today I'm going to be showing you the brand new Sim 2 Max and Sim 2 Max OS irons. So these are the irons that TaylorMade are going to really target towards those high handicap golfers, the people that need a lot of help and some forgiveness, massive distance and massive ball speeds. These look quite different to last year and there's a lot of new technology that they've introduced in it to help you guys with your game. So without further ado, let's get right into the video and get right into reviewing these two spectacular irons. So guys, these are the Sim 2 irons and let's quickly talk about the looks of both irons and how they kind of compare to other game improvement irons I reviewed recently. So first of all, let's talk about the Sim 2 Max iron. So this is the one that is not as big as the Sim 2 Max OS iron. Obviously, the Sim 2 Max OS is oversized. The Sim 2 iron, let's go and look down at the club to begin with. And you can instantly tell it is a game improvement iron. It is, it's large. But when I'm comparing it to other game improvement irons in the past, such as the Callaway Big Bertha B21, the Mizuno JPX 91 Forged, for me, the top line's bigger. Top line is actually significantly bigger. It's more towards the actual Cobra Rad speed. But then with that, it still has that classical feel in that there's not much going on. There's not much going on behind the ball that you can't see any sort of additional stuff apart from the top line that I've seen in other models. For me, this is pretty standard and a pretty comfortable club to look down at. If you are that high handicap golfer, this is exactly what I want you guys to be looking down at, exactly what I want you guys to be playing because it's got that confidence level whereby it is large enough for it to instill confidence, but it's not too big that you think that this is an ugly club. So it's done the job for that one. Now, looking at the actual club from, from the actual head of it, it is similar in a way to the uh, previous sim model, but there's a few things that I'll get onto the, in the technology section that is a little bit different. TaylorMade, what they do with their game improvement irons is they make them modern and flashy, similar to the whole Sim 2 range. If you guys don't like that, if you guys are thinking, ah, this is rubbish, let's dislike the video, hold on a second, because what TaylorMade do is they have so many progressional irons in that they have the P7 range, so the P790, the P770, P7 MC, P7 MB. They've got a club for everyone, and this is appealing to the people that maybe, let's say, have either just started golf or looking to get into golf are playing golf but they're not playing golf as well as they should be and they want a little bit more help these are the exact clubs for you and if you think oh, i want something a little bit classical then go for other irons that they have on offer so it's not a problem at all going on to the sim 2 max os and by the name it's called oversized so instantly you expect it to be a pretty pretty hefty pretty thick club and that's exactly what it is you've got a large club here you've got a club that has a very large sole and as well as the speed pocket it just it's it's big it's it's very very big Looking down at the club, the difference that I can see with the actual Sim 2 Max and Sim 2 Max OS is just genuine, it's just a lot larger. And you can see actually when looking down at it, it depends on your actual um, lie angle here, but you can see a little bit of um, some offset behind the ball apart from the actual um, top line too. But when I'm looking down at both of them and comparing them, there is actually a little bit of difference and you can just see that the, yeah, the, the, the Sim 2 Max is just its little brother in that it is a little bit smaller. The Sim 2 Max just from initial kind of coverage and what I'm looking at here, you can tell this is for the people that need as much help as possible, need absolutely everything. You are just getting into the game and you are struggling because this is absolutely huge. I've seen bigger models, don't worry, but this one is something that really does respond to those people that, yeah, they need, need a lot of help. These aren't ugly clubs in any way, and I feel like with, with game improvement irons, it's difficult to actually make clubs that, I'm, that anyone, a knowledgeable golfer will look at and be like, wow, those are stunning because for most golfers, sleeker is better but for me with the sim 2 irons they've done really well in actually making a club that can actually fit towards golfers who need a lot of help and still make them actually pretty decent looking sets of clubs i think some people might disagree if you don't like game improvement iron sets but for the game improvement iron set category they've done quite well here and the design although some may say is a little bit a little bit unorthodox there's gonna be reasons behind that and that's what I'm gonna explain right now. Because what I was able to do is I was able to do a deep dive into the technology behind these two irons and talk to a few members of staff at TaylorMade to give you guys a better understanding of why they've made these irons, how much of an upgrade these are in comparison to the Sim, Sim original irons, and what you guys should expect if you're hitting these two irons. So let's jump back to the studio and see how I got on in terms of my deep dive for the technology. Let's get into it. 
So with these new SIM2 Max and SIM2 Max OS irons, you can see by the design that there are a lot of features that were already present in the original SIM Max irons. But the main thing that has been introduced is their new cap back design. This is a completely new way of iron construction that TaylorMade have done by charting thousands and thousands of shots from amateurs and professionals alike to see how they can really optimize these types of irons. Cap back design is proving to be the key to unlocking this new level of distance and performance. What it is, is a strong lightweight polymer material which spans the entire cavity and it helps to secure the top line and provides additional rigidity in the upper part of the face. It works in unison with the through stock speed pocket and with that, it means that there is a larger area that is unsupported on the face, which basically means increased ball speeds and increased distance, which we all want. Beyond the obvious speed and distance that this new catback design has, there is also a higher MOI with this club by the catback design, meaning that there is increased forgiveness across the entire club face, which is exactly what high handicap players want. Pairing the catback design with the echo dampening system, this means that you get an extremely nice soft feel for a high handicapper's club, almost like that forged player's iron that all of us want to play. There is no harsh feel or anything like that, and you still get that signature feeling that you have in all of the SIM irons that have been released previously. If you're wondering what the difference is between the SIM2 Max and the SIM2 Max OS rather than it looking bigger, well, that's basically it. TaylorMade have packed this into an oversized package with a lower CG, meaning that it is just even more forgiving than a model that is already extremely forgiving. So if you are wondering which one you should purchase, from the technology alone and the looks, it seems that the Max OS means maximum forgiveness, maximum distance, and you still get that exceptional feel that you have in all of the TaylorMade irons. The Max OS has stronger lofts, wider sole, and it has a draw bias as well, meaning that for those high handicap players who struggle with that out to in, hit that slice, this will help you and really will improve your game. But how do these two clubs compare to each other on the launch monitor at the Swing Suite at Chromehurst Golf Club? I'm pretty sure these are both gonna go, well, a long way, but it'll be interesting to see the actual difference between the two of them. Let's now jump back to the Swing Suite and see how I got on with the performance of these two clubs. All right, so let's talk about the TaylorMade SIM2 Max Iron first. This one would have the least forgiveness out of the two, but it still is going to have a lot of forgiveness. And this is exactly what it had. But what I will talk about first is the distance. So I'll put the data up on the screen for you now. As you can see, this seven iron was going just shy of 210 yards. I've never hit a seven iron that far ever. But what was most impressive to me is that this 210 yards, this pretty significant you know what? let's not put myself down this massive distance that you could get from a seven iron felt effortless i wasn't swinging hard i was swinging I, you know what? i was swinging less than i usually am swinging in terms of actual power because i'm a bit knackered today and it was still easily going 210 yards i reckon i can average this at 220 yards on a good day but with that with the effortlessness as it felt when i was doing it it was going straight like you can see behind me you've got a perfect little arrow a nice draw there which if any of my uh, my friends and golfing partners are watching, I did not hit a draw, which is something that, look, you guys can see right there, I'm hitting a draw. But it's a crazy to see just how consistent this club is. And for me, this is the exact club that I'd recommend to someone who wants a lot of forgiveness with their game, but still wants a club that you want to look down at and think, yeah, this is okay. This isn't, this isn't a club that's ugly. This is a club that instills confidence. I personally, as a low handicap golfer, wouldn't put it in my bag for a consistent 40 pitching wedge set but if let's say i wanted to do a combo set that's exactly what i would do i would happily put this is a four and five iron in my bag no problem at all and if you think that i'm uh, if you think i'm talking utter nonsense right now check a few pga tour staff players bags and you will actually see a few of these sim 2 irons in their long irons so that's exactly what taylor made have done here and i feel like it's quite clever because similar to other brands they've made these kind of game improvement irons available for any type of golfer and it makes it a possibility for any type of golfer, from the PGA Tour professionals, to myself, to you guys watching. So for me, this Sim 2 Club is good, really, really good. It ticks all the boxes for me, and it's one that I would recommend you guys trying if you are to that mid to high handicap range. I wouldn't just say high handicap range, because it's not, it's not like that unappealing to just limit it to that. So if you are that mid to high handicap range and are looking for a set of clubs that can help you with your game, help you hit it straighter and further, this one's for you. I'll put the loft of this 7-iron up on the screen now so you can see obviously it's a strong club it's a very strong club but 
if you guys are shuddering at that and thinking that's ridiculous, take a look at every other brand. Every brand's doing that for game improvement irons and that's kind of what it should be doing because it makes it go a long way. You still have the added forgiveness and it just makes it, kind of, it's a smart decision really. So that was the Sim 2 Max iron, an iron that I think is being pretty spot on for the target market. Now let's jump on to the Sim 2 Max OS iron, an iron that is nearly double in size. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but it's, 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 it's a lot bigger and I'll be interested to see how the results of this compared to that one. So I don't think this is, this one, you can't really beat this one, but let's have a look. Ooh. I'm out of breath now. <laughs> right, so the Sim 2 Max OS iron, the oversized iron in comparison to the Sim 2 Max. This was exactly what I expected it to be. It had a little bit more distance and a little bit more forgiveness in comparison to the Sim 2 Max. It's tough because I felt like that the Sim 2 Max actually already had a lot of forgiveness in it. So I didn't think it needed to be improved, but that kind of makes me think that this club is for the person who needs, needs it all. Needs the forgiveness, needs the distance, maybe doesn't have a fast swing speed, just needs as much stuff as they can have to help them play better, basically. This is probably someone who doesn't really think too much about the actual looks of the club, just thinks, look, I want to get better and I want to try and hit it straighter and further. If you're thinking that, this is one for you. For me, when I look down at the club, I, I'll be honest, because they've got a little bit of more stuff just behind it rather than the top line it's not the nicest club in the world to look at but i feel like that's almost like you kind of negate that a little bit by the results that i'm getting so i'll put the data up on the screen for you now as you can see good very very good about 215 to 220 yards i was getting on average with this club for a seven iron massive and you can understand why i know the lofts are really strong again i'll put the lofts up on the screen for you now for a seven iron which is what i was hitting but this club feels like it's very very difficult to just hit a bad shot with it like yes you can hit it left or right but it feels so easy to actually hit the center of the club face and even if you don't you're getting exceptional results so this is i, I do understand why taylor have done this and made two ranges and even with that as well what i said to you beforehand if you are that high handicap golfer what you could do is you could have a four to seven iron in the sim 2 max os and then an eight to pitching wedge into the sim 2 max so have that progression in there, still have that little bit of workability, but make sure that you have as much forgiveness as possible in those long lines, which I feel like that's exactly what TaylorMade want you guys to do. So I understand why they've done this and it makes a lot of sense. For me, what I'm gonna do now is have a little bit more of a think, hit these a little bit more, and then come back to you guys and give my overall Golf Magic medal for the Sim 2 and the Sim 2 Max OS. I think it's pretty self-explanatory what I'm gonna give, but let's just have a bit more of a hit, see how these perform, and just then give my overall point of view. Uh, right, let's give my overall verdict on these two irons. I've now hit these a lot more than what I did in just the video shown. Probably a bit too much because now I'm, I'm very, very tired. But these two irons are exactly what you'd expect them to be. These clubs are providing distance, forgiveness, and actually a very nice feel as well for a game improvement iron. I'm not going to really say that many negatives about any other brands, but let's compare it to, let's say, a Ping G425 iron set. They are very good irons, very, very good game improvement irons. But as they're being, as they're cast, and these are forged, and these are just, just genuinely just a nicer club to hit overall in terms of feel. That's why I think these are just a very good starter set for someone who wants to really, really improve my, their game. If, let's say you're not a starter or just getting into the game, but you're still a high handicap player, these are still a very smart investment because they're really gonna help you improve your game and hit straighter, further shots with irons. It's just, it's a no brainer for me. Like these, these clubs are exactly what a high handicapper should be purchasing in 2021. Yes, there are people, if you're watching in the UK, you can't actually currently hit these right now. They're not released until February, but we are also in lockdown. But when you guys are out of it, these are the exact clubs that I recommend you guys try. If you want to try and get into the game of golf, if you just want to improve your game and you are that high handicap level. If you're not that high handicap level, if you're kind of like me towards that low to mid handicap range, don't dislike the video because as I said, these clubs are the exact clubs that I would want to try. I actually might do this. I I think I'm gonna, going to put the four and five iron of the Sim 2 Max in my bag because it just provides that added level of forgiveness. And when you really want to hit, let's say a shot 220, 230, well, if it's a four iron here, probably 260 yards, it's the exact club that you want because for me, I would never be nervous about missing the fairway with any of these clubs, any of them at all, which is why I think 
they've done really well in providing a exceptional 2021 game improvement iron that all you guys should probably look into. In terms of the comparison to the old Sim 2 range, what what what's the difference? What are you guys thinking? If you've got the original Sim and you're thinking, oh, should I purchase these? What's the difference? For me, I want to try and give a complete unbiased opinion because I do really like TaylorMade, and if I'm just giving it from my personal point of view, to buy an iron set after just buying a set a year or two ago, unless there's a massive, massive increase in anything such as feel and stuff like that, it's it's kind of tough for me to say definitely do it. I do feel like these are a, a very significant improvement because I did try the original Sim range and what we do provide more is just forgiveness. And that is what the whole Sim 2 range is. It's providing you with more forgiveness and just more, more success, basically. And that's exactly what they do. Because it's such a large amount of money, I'm not gonna say go and do it, but I do understand the benefits if you guys were to upgrade and take these sets. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna say do it because it's just, it's a lot of money. I'll put the price of these irons up on the screen now for both sets. And as you can see, a pretty fair price for the game improvement iron sets in terms of 2021. But yeah, if you guys are thinking, I wanna upgrade, then I would definitely recommend it because these clubs will definitely help your game going into 2021. Now for me, for the Gold Magic Medal Crown, we're gonna give these nothing else than a gold medal. I feel like I, I'm too nice on this channel. I'm giving a lot of people gold medals, so let, let's give a few bronzes in the next few weeks. But for now, I can't give these anything other than a gold medal. If you're thinking, game improvement iron set, what do you want? You want distance, forgiveness, feel, decent looking clubs, decent looking price. What, what are these not? These are exactly them. The Max OS provide that added level of forgiveness, that added level of confidence if you really need that extra help. And if you are the high handicap player, these are good because you could put these in, in a combo set with those low irons and they'll go a long way. So for me and from all of Golf Magic, TaylorMade, well done. You've done an amazing job here with the irons and the metal woods as well. And we can't wait to see what you guys have to release later this year. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today of me reviewing the brand new TaylorMade Sim 2 Max and Sim 2 Max OS irons. It's really eye-opening to kind of just test out all these game improvement irons that I would never really think of putting in my bag. It really does change my mind as to what I want to do with them and what I kind of, what I want to do in terms of my bag setup. So I'm going to make a few changes and I'm going to show you guys what's in the bag in the next few months and what I'm going to try and use to lower my handicap for this year. If you guys want to see me compare these irons to, let's say, the Callaway Apex, Callaway Big Bertha, Cobra Radspeed, and Ping G425, let me know down in the comments and I'll schedule that very, very soon. If you guys could leave a like down below for this video today, if you guys have enjoyed it, and subscribe if you are new to the channel to keep up to date with all our equipment reviews like this, challenges, instructional pieces, and much, much more to help you guys with your game. I'll see you guys at the next video.